using the same techniques that we used in ubuntu that is docker and docker compose we will now try to install elasticsearch and kibana in a local windows mach machine so uh, i have the same docker compose file that i used in ubuntu so that is precisely a very important advantage which docker and docker compose gives me i can easily move my uh, move or shift my development environment from across platforms like the same file worked for me in ubuntu and the same file will work for me in windows so that is precisely the advantage that i get with containers suppose i am working on a project of my own and i can just create a container out of it and i can ship it to various different platforms and the container will essentially make sure that and and sorry docker will essentially make sure that my container runs in each and every environment so i think so it is very cool and very 2020 okay so what we are going to next is we'll try to run uh, this docker compose file and bring up our systems uh, so just before that um, if you do not have docker installed uh, in your windows machine um, you could just check out the link to a video in the description below where i teach how to install docker on windows as well as you can check uh, out the ibern above which has the link to the same so once you have got docker installed um we could just uh, open a terminal in this directory and we could say something like docker compose up and since uh, i would not be having those images locally it would it should try to okay so it says can find a suitable configuration file in this directory are you in the right directory hmm it's a word file docker compose dot yaml so uh, we see what the problem is here actually this is not a yaml file this is a text file and therefore docker compose is not able to recognize it so let's turn this yaml file sorry uh, this text file into a yaml file so I'll quickly bring up my handy tool which is notepad plus plus right here and i'll save a copy as okay uh, yeah yaml docker compose dot yaml and cool we will uh, delete the file for which we do not have much use uh but maybe later so if i type dir again here so i see yes i have a docker compose.yaml file so what i'd like to do now is uh, what i'd like to do now is i'd say docker compose and up and let us see what happens this time okay so it is pu pulling in elastic search and it is pulling in kibana so the images uh, are fairly large in size i feel and would take some time so we will see you at the other end of this uh, installation and now it is fetching kibana and uh, still would require a little more time to complete meanwhile if we head to docker we could see that it has uh, added to our library the latest elastic search image and we can see that we are getting some logs out here so our elastic search server seems to be up at this moment and here we saw one from kibana let's see uh, let's go in docker and see um, so we have elastic search as well as kibana and look at their size man they're huge and uh, elastic uh, is running so okay so elastic search seems to be running and kibana as well seems to be up and running so what we will do here is we will quickly try to verify the installation of both elastic as well as kibana and to do that all i simply have to do is head to the browser and 
put in the Kibana uh, port number and localhost and it, if everything is up and running correctly it should connect to Kibana in the browser okay let's try to debug what's not okay so apparently it was the port number and it tells the, us that Kibana server is not ready so I think so let's look at the kibana logs and say server running at so and so address so it should be up and running by now is it oh yeah it, yeah it is up and running so our installation is successful so we'll just quickly send a curl request to elasticsearch and verify that elasticsearch is up and running and healthy so it tells us welcome to Elastic and I don't want to explore the sample data right now and all I want to do is just check the correctness of my installation and I can send this get request to Elastic and I should see some data here just in any moment. Yeah and there we have it. So our installation of Kibana and Elasticsearch on Windows using Docker is successful. So I hope it's been a good experience and you guys are learning a lot of things while doing this with me. And if you find this video helpful, do hit the like button. And if you find the content of my channel helpful, please click on subscribe and you can hit the bell icon so you don't miss on any new content. That's it for this time and we'll try to explore Elasticsearch in more depth in the later videos. Thank you all for watching.